Hey everybody, it's Amanda. It's September and today I am making potato soup. Okay, we're into the third week of September and today is a special day. It is actually my son Ricky's 22nd birthday. My baby boy. So today for September, I thought it was only fitting that I would make his favorite soup. Now the way that I used to handle my kids' birthdays was that they got to pick whatever they wanted. And Ricky was famous. He always had the same in the house, you know. Um, he was famous for always picking the same meal. He always wanted potato soup and pumpkin pie for his birthday. And so I'm going to show you and him and his wife how I make my potato soup. And hopefully um, he'll get to enjoy it and hopefully you'll get to enjoy it. However, this one has a little bit of a twist. Um, now that we're all older, we do a low carb version. <laughs> So, or I should say lower carb. It's not really a true low carb. But instead of just potatoes, which I used to do when they were younger, now we do it half potatoes, half cauliflower. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and uh, we'll get started here in just a minute, but I just wanna tell you that because it is the Soup Timber collab, don't forget that all the other channels that are involved in our collab are listed down in the description box below. So you wanna make sure you go to their channels and check them out. We are already halfway through the month and there have been some really great recipes. There's a playlist also linked down below so you wanna make sure you check that out. And by the way, don't forget to go ahead and leave a comment both here on this video and on all of the other videos because at the end of the month, I'm gonna draw one of the comments from all of the comments of the month and they are going to win a prize and I will announce the prize today for Ricky's birthday. So wait till the end of the video for that. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and show you the ingredients for potato soup. Okay, so over here in the back, I have flour in a bucket. That's, that's how I keep it, so you want flour. I have um, turkey ham. You can use regular ham if you like. We just don't eat regular ham, but turkey ham is what I have. We're gonna cube that up. I have some butter sitting here. Potatoes, of course, can't have potato soup without that. And the onion, you want a good size one. Some cheese, cauliflower, because we're doing the lower carb version. I do have some sour cream here in the back, salt and pepper, and some parsley. And I also wanted to mention, I threw some nutritional yeast back here. You can make this vegan. You can totally leave out the ham aspect of it. And instead of cheese, you can use nutritional yeast. And believe it or not, it's, and frankly, instead of the sour cream as well. Uh, instead of the sour cream though, I would use a vegan cream cheese. And I definitely recommend the Kite Hill if you want it. But if you wanna make a vegan nutritional yeast, Kite Hill cream cheese, and it'll work out just the same. It's really, really good. But anyway. This is what you need for the regular version, and we're gonna get started making that. Okay, so I have my pan, and I have about two tablespoons of butter that I just threw in here, and I am going to let that melt, and I'm going to add the ham and the onions in, and I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit just to get the ham a little crispy, and the onions should be translucent, and then we will go to the next step. By the way, I went ahead and pre-chopped my ham. You wanna chop it up into nice little cubes because that is tasty and delicious in your soup. All of the measurements will be down in the description box. So if you need specific uh, instructions on how to make this soup, it is all going to be there. Okay, you can see my butter starting to melt. I'm just gonna give this a stir and we're gonna let this cook down a little bit. You can see over here that I already pre-chopped my cauliflower and my potatoes. My potatoes are also sitting in some water so they don't brown. You see that if I, I move that, see it right there at the bottom. Um, you wanna try to make sure that you have equal amounts of cauliflower and potatoes. Now, cauliflower cuts up smaller. Um, try to get them around the same size. I try to do little cubes, but cauliflower just by its nature, it cuts up in a little tiny pieces. So even though it looks like it's a little less in here, it's just because the tinier pieces get, get caught down in the little cracks. And so it looks like there's less than there is, but there's actually more. So you want them to be equal amounts for it to taste like potato soup. You can, if you are super low carb, um, you can do this with just cauliflower and it still tastes like a good soup, but it tastes like a good cauliflower soup. If you want it to taste like potato, you don't want it to have more than half cauliflower. You've got to have at least half potato to have that potato flavor. 
Again, cauliflower soup, still good, but for it to be potato soup, no more than half and half. So I went ahead and pre-chopped these. These are waiting. As soon as that ham and onion gets cooked, we are going to move to the next step. Okay, you can tell this has really cooked down. Those onions are nice and translucent. You can see that crispy on the bottom. Yummy! Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this out. I'm gonna put it in this plate that I put it all in with, and, uh, and we're gonna move on to the next step. But this must come out first. So let's get this out of here. Okay, and very quickly, we are going to put a little more butter in the bottom, another tablespoon or two. Let that cook down. That spread around. And we're gonna throw a couple tablespoons of flour because we're gonna be making a roux. Just give that a little stir. All right. And then we're gonna throw a little water in here. Now I'm using water for my liquid. I don't think I mentioned that at the beginning in terms of the ingredients. Again, check the ingredients down at the bottom. Um, you can use chicken broth, I just don't have any. And if you do that more slowly, you won't have lumps. <laughs> but I'm here trying to film and uh, make this by myself and frankly, it's a little bit more challenging than just cooking it. <laughs> but if you add your liquid slowly and stir it in carefully, let me go get a uh, whisk, there we go. If you do that carefully, you won't have lumps. All right, it's gonna help our soup to thicken up. So now we are going to add our cauliflower and our potatoes. So go ahead and throw that cauliflower in. I'm gonna throw the potatoes in. And you can see this is a big old soup. It's gonna fill the pan. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put water in to cover all of this, okay? So however much you use, that's how much water you need. I'm just gonna stir it up. There we go. I'm gonna add water to top it off. All right. All right. So now that it's covered, we're gonna take our lid and we're gonna cover the pan. There we go, it's nice and covered. And we are going to um, let this come to a boil and boil for about 15, 20 minutes. However long it takes for the cauliflower and the potatoes to get soft. Uh, just like you would for mashed potatoes, nothing different. So we're gonna let that boil, get soft, and then we will finish this up. Okay, so you can see everything is cooked through, and this is how you test. You wanna take and press a piece of uh, potato up against the side and just kind, of <laughs> just kind of press it. And if it breaks apart very easily, like that one did, then it is soft enough to continue. You could even do that with some cauliflower too. Press that, and if it easily breaks apart, then it is ready to go. So, once it's nice and soft, we are actually going to take some of these potatoes and cauliflower and we are going to puree them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, ooh, got steamy there. I'll move you over here. I'm gonna take this measuring cup and I'm going to add probably this much, just about two cups of just some potatoes and cauliflower. And we are gonna take it over the KitchenAid mixer and mash it down just like you would for mashed potatoes. And we're gonna put that back in the soup to help thicken it up. So we are going to do that. When you do this, you really want just the thick pieces and you wanna to try to leave the liquid in the pot. I'm gonna bring you over to the KitchenAid mixer here and I'm gonna pour those in. You could do this in your food, food processor or if you have an immersion blender, you could use that. I chose to do it in my KitchenAid because frankly my kitchen is crazy right now, we're still working on it, and I thought this was less dishes than the food processor, <laughs> so um, we're gonna let this mash up just like you would mashed potatoes. 
And you know, now that I'm looking at this in the KitchenAid mixer, I think that it's not very much. I'm gonna probably get another two cups and we'll mash all that up. Okay, there we go. We have such a big pot of soup. I thought, you know, we probably need to mash a little bit more. So that looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the ingredients into these mashed potatoes and then put everything back into the pot. Part of the reason is because we're gonna add this sour cream over here and we, here, we, here it is, and we wanna temper it a little bit. We want it to um, already be a little warm before we put it into the pot itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the sour cream first. Like I said, again, all measurements are in the description box. I'm still out here measuring with the Holy Spirit, you guys, because that's how I do. I'm also gonna add the cheese here. Um, you do wanna save some for toppings. And this cheese I have is part cheddar, part mozzarella, part Parmesan. And that's just because that's what I had left in my fridge. I'm all about using what you have. And uh, I added the Parmesan just because um, mozzarella is such a mild cheese. I thought you need a little extra flavor than that. So we're gonna add all our cheese in here. And then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Ooh, I do like a good amount of pepper. And let me get my other salt, because that salt's almost out. My pepper's almost out too, y'all. And I got a big uh, storage of salt and pepper in my um, pantry. I just haven't refilled their containers. And I'm also gonna add, I know I didn't say it at the beginning, I'm also gonna add some onion powder. I just, I, I know we have onions going in there, but I really like the flavor of onions with any kind of potato dish. And we're gonna add a little bit of parsley. Maybe a lot of it. I really like parsley. Again, with potatoes and potato soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir all that in. And it's really coming together. And then we're gonna take this back to the soup pot and incorporate it. So let's go. All right, here's our soup pot. We're gonna gently incorporate this. And you can see it's gonna thicken up really, really quickly. Now that that's incorporated, we're gonna add our ham and onions back in. Again, very gently. I'm gonna save a little bit just to put on the top for the pictures, because y'all gotta have a pretty picture on the video, right? We'll just save a little bit. There we go. All right. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste this. We'll add any extra salt and pepper, and she is done. All right, so whenever you taste potato soup, just be really careful because it is always very hot. Oh my goodness. You don't need to add a thing. You want to add really light, just double check before you add any extra salt because of that ham. It is really easy to over salt it because the ham already has so much so sodium in it. But you guys, mm. I'm gonna keep eating this. Yeah, I like my ham. <laughs> All right, well, that's the soup. I'm gonna show you a little picture of it looking all pretty in a little bowl. And I'm gonna eat a little more because that's what I do. But that's how you make it. That's Ricky's favorite potato soup. And it's actually, like I said, the lower carb version. And it's still amazing. It's still super amazing. I had to turn the stove off because it was still on. Um, don't forget to check down below in the description box for all of the other channels that are going to be doing September. Of course, the schedule's on there. You can see it's coming up tomorrow. Go ahead and subscribe in advance so you're ready for all the amazing soup recipes. 
and I promised at the end of the video I would reveal the gift. Well, I was thinking about it. I was really choosing between like whether or not I should make the giveaway prize a like soup tureen or maybe a set of stainless steel cookware. Um, and I couldn't decide and it's Ricky's birthday. So of course I'm sending him an Amazon gift card. And I thought, you know what? I bet you guys would like an Amazon gift card as well. So I'm actually going to give an Amazon gift card for the giveaway. And I'm going to give a hundred dollars so if you have an Amazon account then you are eligible no matter where you are this is something that can be for our international friends as well um, so don't forget to leave a comment and maybe you could win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card so like I said yeah any of the videos from September not just mine any of the other participants who are part specifically of this collab and like I said all the names are listed down below we do have a couple bonus videos as well, and I'll notify you about those on my Facebook page, The Beals. It's all linked down in the description box. box. And then um, it just leave a comment on all of those, and I will draw at the end of the month a number corresponding to the day of the people who are doing these collab things down here. And uh, once I draw the day, I'll do a random comment picker and choose one of the comments from that to figure out who's going to get the Amazon gift card. And of course I'll be notifying you on my Facebook page about the winner. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. And I hope you guys are excited about all the great soups. I really enjoyed getting some new recipes. I know you will too. So anyway, that is it. I just want to say a little happy birthday to my baby boy because I love him so much. And, uh, and that's it. So I hope you will give Ricky soup a try. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time.